drifting. Not only because of the number of people in the school, but because this was about a deliberate attack on our children. And as Glyn has mentioned, we need to go beyond our nation and make it very clear This was an attack on our, on our country, and therefore, us. so Muslims are likely to be victims of horrific terrorist acts in the West, and of course, throughout the Muslim world, we are the Muslims are the majority of people who are, who are killed by terrorists. Other things which are very interesting is that now it's time not to give in to a politics or a narrative of division, but to rise above it and to pull together. This doesn't mean just in our local communities, Muslim, Muslim organizations and people coming together in but also within the Muslim community. We have to rise above our differences and realize that now is a time of action, of love and not hate. Assalamualaikum. My name is Jackie Appleby, I'm a local GP and an NHS activist. I'm so proud to live in our hamlets um, and it's a great community cohesion and cultural diversity which enriches, or enriches us all. And it's my great pleasure to introduce Leon Silver, who's president of East London Central Synagogue. We all stand here together in sympathy with the victims of this terrible atrocity that took place in Manchester. Hearts go out, of course, those who are seriously ill in hospital, and friends who were so brutally struck down. Yet again, we stand here in Tower Hamlets together. We are united. We will not allow the actions of a few evil people to sow the seeds of discord, to cause strife, and to tear our communities apart. We all stand together, Muslim, Jewish, Christian, Buddhist, those of any faith, those of no faith. We stand here united in our wonderful, diverse borough of Tower Hamlets, and we stand for decency, the harmony, the brotherhood and sisterhood, we will not be divided, we will become stronger through diversity, and we stand together, we condemn evil, and we stand up for what is good and for what is right. Thank you. Thanks very much, Leon. Our next speaker is Abdul, sorry, Mohammed Abdul Kalam from Muslim Aid. Sound gun check correct. The background should touch them, not that. The last behalf of the Manchester Tragedy, the people are united in grief. Let us bring the sense of unity to achieve positive engagement day to day. Let Manchester be a turning point, the moment. started their life journey. At this Muslim Aid youth program with hundreds of volunteers, you can see many of them in front of you today. Hundreds of volunteers who are getting involved in community activism around the world, picking up litter on the streets, in the needy, raising funds for unfortunate people around the world. We encourage young people to get involved with us. The program is led by positive role models who help them develop themselves so that they too become positive role models for others. What stands out from the terrible and sad tragedy that occurred this week in the Manchester arena is that many different people came together to comfort each other even though they did not know each other. Many of these were Muslim people. There's this iconic image of a young 
hijabi lady comforting a young boy who was crying uncontrollably and he appeared on the BBC on Wednesday night. These images of people coming together, supporting each other despite differences is what, what gives us comfort and what gives us hope and inspires us for a better future, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Thank you, Albert Kalam. Our next speaker is um, Superintendent Peter Chana. Uh, from Trahamlis Police, we invited the Borough Commander. Unfortunately, she is in a very important meeting and can't make it now. So uh, Peter is here to represent the Trahamlis Police. As you know, we have to, they are protecting us. Uh, they are risking their lives to protect the community. We need to appreciate uh, their contribution as well. It's like the central line back here. Sure. <laughs> um, I'll keep this very short and sweet. Um, I, I, I would imagine everyone here range of emotions to speak, I certainly have. Um, but I just want you to look around now, the people around here. It's not me and my colleagues that are looking after Tower Hamlets. It is all of you. All of you yeah, that look yeah. after Tower Hamlets. And it's events like this. Unfortunately, together all the time and I think we all need to remember that but I'll reach out to each and every one of you you look after me as much as I look after you and that's how we work here and we've done it for years and we'll continue yeah. no more for me I think I can have 30 seconds to catch up okay thanks a lot here our next speaker is Matthew Bolton from an important local I come with a message and peace uh, in this difficult time. Synagogues, schools, colleges, universities. are today at this uh, vigil expressing our sadness and our solidarity. Manchester Citizens Organisation held a big vigil uh, with the same message because uh, terrible acts like what happened in Manchester just us together and stronger. And we know They want to hear from you. Thank you, Matthew. Now, can I introduce John McLaughlin, who's from the Hamlet Commission? Assalamu alaikum. I come here to bring solidarity from our trade union unison and more broadly. Our shock at Manchester was all the greater because the unison great. Uh, great Northwest Regional Office is part of the building where the bomb struck. And I think what probably shocks all of us the most is such a horrendous crime, mainly against young people. And there are those no division. That is the purpose of the bombers. It doesn't just include Muslims. In my opinion, it's Muslims to try to cross division between Muslims and the rest of the community, and we simply will not have it. We will not have division between our Muslim brothers and sisters and the community. And we will not stand the likes of trying horrendously to use such a tragedy to stir up their own hatred in unity. We will not have communities united, not divided. And that's what we have to stand for. And for united communities, that no, there is peace, there is but all the reason if they want to come from the United States, I want to come from the United States, I want to come from the United States, I want to come from the United States, 
right. When he says we need to stand for peace and just and equality, it has to be on a global scale. Where our government policies have helped to continue opposed to them. Because that is part of the community. John, that we are a genuine race to the expression of that next speaker from our LGBT plus community, Jack Gill. Pleasure to be here. I'm the fourth generation from Eastern Europe and Central Europe in the 19th century, Jewish community that lived just a few yards from here. My father remembers he's on his one of the honorary. So like, as a Jew, as a gay we are all together. We are all together against hatred in all its forms, within all our communities, and between all our communities. And that's what makes the, the, the magic of Tower Hamlet so important. We're not here to say one person is right and another person is wrong. We're here to say we respect each other in all our humanity, and we give each other the respect to be different too. And that's what I'm here to say. Actually, I have a small prayer that the Chief Rabbi has written especially for this occasion, which I'd just like to read. We stand before you in prayer and supplication, stunned and shocked by the brutal and merciless atrocity committed this week in Manchester, a heartless desecration of your precious gift of life, an affront to the values of peace and democracy. We mourn for those who were murdered and pray that you will grant consolation to their families in the depths of their grief. Send a speedy recovery to the injured and peace of mind to all who have been traumatized by this act of barbarity. Help us, almighty God, to promote reconciliation and respect between the faiths and their adherents, and I would add, and those who don't have a faith in this land so they may live in peace and security, working together for the good of all. May the love of unity, compassion, justice, peace and harmony prevail over the forces of darkness who use terror to achieve their perverted goals. Grant us the resolve to live together under the tabernacle of your peace. As it is written, they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. May this be your will, and let us say Amen. Jack, and now I'd like to introduce the Mayor of Tower Hamlets, John Biggs. Well, what a, uh, what a glorious time to avoid burning my head throughout this. <laughs> and of course, there are more than 20 young, mostly young people who don't have that privilege today because they were murdered earlier this week in Manchester in cold blood, thoughtlessly, uh, and in nobody's name, certainly not in our name. Uh, as the slogans say, there is no place for hate in Tower Hamlets. We fought many, many battles. We should reflect as we stand here that we're about 300 metres from the station entrance from which people came just a few years ago following another attack on our community. And that attack was terrible. It frightened us, but it made us stronger in our unity and our resolve that whatever our differences are, and it is appropriate, I suppose, that there is a general election on now, we solve our differences through democratic politics, through passion, through debate, through argument, but we don't do it through violence because there is no future in that way. Now, when I heard this news, I wept and I thought, am I getting soft as I'm getting older? Um, maybe I am, but I think it's because I have a strong, strong sense as a leader in this community of our sense of common identity and the fact that together, united, we achieve great things. If we allow ourselves to be divided, then we have nowhere to go. We've been through great pain in this area. This park celebrates all manner of events in the history of East London. It's, it's the centre in many ways of our community in the East End. We should celebrate our diversity, which I think we're good at doing. We should celebrate our differences and our ability to resolve our differences. And we should make it absolutely clear as a community that there is no place for hate in our community and show our love and support for the people of Manchester and the families who are grieving today. Thank you. Is, uh, Ali, um, 
Good afternoon, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. I want to start off by showing solidarity with the people of Manchester and to pay our respects and give our warmest, warmest um, affections to the people of Manchester. And for the victims, our thoughts and prayers are with them. I am incredibly grateful to the organizations who got all of us here together today to show that solidarity with the people of Manchester. As Londoners, we know how hard it is, we know how devastating it is when terror strikes. In 7-7, we experienced that. People of all faiths were affected. And recently in the Westminster attacks, lives were lost and we came together as a community but also as a country. And it is today again, we are having to do this again. And it is right that we stand together to show solidarity and our support for those who've been victims, but also to stand against extremism of all form. And that is the true spirit of this part of London that we work together, we come together, whatever our differences, whatever our political differences or other differences. It is a true testimony of the history of the East End that we've always done that. We've always fought against hatred and intolerance. And our commitment to the people of Manchester is that we will continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with them, continue to support them. And we remember those who've lost their lives and we continue to stand together with the families who are still struggling with those injured and who are fighting for their lives. Thank you so much for coming together. Thank you to the organizers. And finally, thank you to the police service, to the emergency services, to the medical profession, and everyone that has protected people in Manchester, but also in previous terror attacks, have been there to save lives. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for protecting us. Asalaamu Alaikum. Now, next speaker is our GLA member, Uma I will be extremely brief because much of what I would have said has already been said by other speakers. I'm glad to be here with you today. Today, we stand as Star Hamless United, East London United, and indeed London United in yeah. solidarity with the people of, uh, of, of Manchester. Terrorism recognizes no religion, no race, no culture, no creed. This point was vividly made at a vigil that I attended two days ago in Newham, one of a number of vigils all over London. The last time we had met in Newham before Tuesday's vigil, uh, vigil was two years ago. To remember the, uh, the many children killed in the attack on a school in Peshawar in Pakistan. And this, the point, therefore, that terrorism strikes against any community, any race, any religion. Our real values were shown by the people of Manchester in the aftermath of the horrific attack. Ordinary people helping one another. The rough uh, sleeper who went in, uh, regardless, regardless of his personal safety, to rescue people. Taxi drivers offering lifts free to people's homes. Taxi drivers who happen to be Muslim of all faiths. Those are the real values of our society. Friends, their job is to divide us. Our job, whether as community leaders, whether as religious leaders, whether as MPs, councillors, whatever role we hold in society or no role, is to unite. The best tribute and the only tribute we can pay to the people who died in Manchester and to victims of terrorism, both in this country and all over the world, is to carry on the fight for a better society, to make sure that we remain united, regardless of whatever little differences there are in our society. We have more in common than what divides us. Terrorism will never, can never defeat us. I salute uh, the people of Manchester in the memory of the 22 people who died. Friends, thank you again for inviting me to speak. Thank you. And now I would introduce Amjad Masroo, who is an independent candidate for Bethnal Green and Bow. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace and blessings of God be upon you all. It is a great tragedy that we have to stand here today to remember the death, the injured of our brothers and our sisters and our fellow citizens of Manchester. It is a tragedy that there are people who have the audacity, who are depraved, 
who are barbaric and brutal to attack our children and kill children as young as eight. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a son who is eight year old. And I can feel the pain of the parents who have lost their children as young as eight. But let there, no be, let, let there never be a person ever justifying taking a life for any life taken. It is like the taking the lives of entire humanity. And any life saved, it is like saving the lives of the, the entire humanity. We should stand together in protecting all life, for every life matters. Every life matters, ladies and gentlemen. What we have seen in Manchester is horrible, is barbaric, and it can never be justified. It can never be justified under any circumstances. Ladies and gentlemen, there are people who would like to tell you and I that you don't belong in this country. There are people in this country who would like to ferment and create hatred amongst ourselves. Let there be also a very resounding voice from you and I that this is our home and we belong here. This is our home and we belong here. Say it again, this is our home and we belong here, ladies and gentlemen. If anybody says something like different, let us face them and say, no, we belong here, this is our home, and we'll do everything possible to keep our home safe and secure. The third thing I'd like to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, it is true, Ames, as he said earlier on, it was the Manchester people who opened up their doors, Muslims, non-Muslims, people of faith and no faith, inviting anyone who's serving people who are injured, any service personnel, openly to their doors. All the Muslim taxi drivers that I know were giving free lifts to people back and forth in Manchester. Many of my friends who were surgeons and doctors, not only living in Manchester, but in the surrounding cities, gave up their holidays, gave up everything and came and operated, performed their doctor's duty diligently and freely. Ladies and gentlemen, it was the Muslim officers as well as army personnel who came together along with the other police officers and army personnel in protecting Manchester. I want to say something finally, ladies and gentlemen. We must stand together. We must always stand together against all forms of hatred. We must stand together against all forms of violence. For there is no God in violence. There is no God in violence. There is no God in violence, ladies and gentlemen. We stand together with Manchester. We stand together of people of this country. And we stand together for people of the world who seek peace and justice in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Our next speaker is Elaine Bertrow. She is the Liberal Democrats candidate for Poplar and Limehouse. Elaine. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to speak. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to pay tribute to someone called Martin Peck, who was one of the people murdered on Monday evening. Uh, Martin was a really good friend of a number of people that are on my team, so I've seen firsthand this week the impact that what happened on Monday has had on people. People have had their, rip, their lives ripped apart by a cowardly act that was determined to uh, rip our communities apart. I'm incredibly proud to be here in Tower Hamlets to be part of a great, diverse community, uh, one that has come together uh, off the back of such a tragic act to say that actually this is not something that we will stand for. It has no place in our community or in our country. Um, we are all part of this society and um, it's amazing that, that we've done this to come together and to say that there is no place for hate in our community or anywhere else in the country. Um, and we stand strong with Manchester. Thank you. Okay. And our next speaker is uh, one of our independent councillors, Councillor Rabina Khan. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon to you all. Thank you very much for the DPU organisers for organising this vigil. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families of those who have lost loved ones, of those young children and young people who died tragically in Manchester. I have often so been asked, not as a politician, but as a Muslim, how do you live your life? And it is very simple. In the words of Bismillah rahman rahim we live our lives in peace, in compassion, and in mercy. And in that respect, we must remember those victims in Manchester. We must remember those families as well. Terrorism, as, 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 as it has been stated earlier, has no faith, has no religion. It is pure evil. There is no place for evil in our society, no place for evil in Islam either. Yes. Yes. 
On one very important note, I'd like to pay tribute to the emergency services who worked tirelessly during the Manchester attack. 60 ambulances and eight hospitals worked together, including the ordinary people who gave food and shelter. It is the spirit of Manchester that must inspire us to lead lives of solidarity, of peace and compassion. Let us be inspired by them. Let us choose not hatred and division, but let us leave here with a sense of renewed hope, with a sense to do good in compassion and peace. Let us go out in the world to make gentle the lives of those less fortunate, fortunate in this world. Thank you. Thank you, Rabina. Now, next speaker is um, Councillor Oli Rahman, is the independent candidate for Portland and Lima. Thank you very much, uh, Laura Bay, community leaders, brothers, sisters, politicians. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's the sad occasion that we come together. And first of all, I want to thank and pay tribute to London Citizen and United States for bringing us all together a situation like this. What happened in Manchester is nothing but evil. The people who have lost their lives, they are our families. The children who have lost lives, they are our children. And we must unite, stand united, shoulder to shoulder, with all our fellow brothers and sisters. We must not let terrorists and terrorism divide us. We must not let ISIS and the right wings divide us this community. You'd know soon after the incident in Manchester, the mosque was attacked, the Britain first came out with their rubbish attacking one section of the community. And I have to say, I pay tribute to the politicians in this, but at least in this aspect, we may have many political different issues, and certainly I do, but when it comes to issues like this, we stand together and we stand united because we will not allow anybody to divide our community in any way. And like Ajmal Masubai said, this is our home. This is the home of my eight-month-old baby. This is the home of my seven-year-old daughter. And we are not going anywhere, no matter what anyone say. And if anybody wants to come and enter into this borough, the right wing, let me tell you clearly, we will do everything under our power to stop you coming in. You succeeded once or twice coming outside East London Mosque. Believe me, you will not succeed anymore, and we will not allow to you come to the Tower Hamlets. Yeah. I also want to pay tribute, just like my many colleagues have, the emergency service. They have done fantastic work. The Muslim community in Manchester and the other communities have done fantastic work. If we unite, divided, we fall. Let's put our differences aside and let's work for the humanity, let's work for peace, justice, and equality. Thank you very much. Asalaamu Alaikum. Thank you, Oli. And can I now introduce Zach Cochran, please, from Stand Up to Racism? Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for coming here. I think this week we've seen the best and worst of humanity. The absolute horrific attack in Manchester. We send our condolences out to the family and friends of people who have lost family in, in, in Manchester. But let's be absolutely clear, around the country, people responded in the right way. They've gone out into their communities and they've said our communities will not be divided. It's an absolute fantastic response that we need to continue. Someone talked earlier about the referendum and the spike in racism that followed that. We absolutely have to be clear that the best way we can remember the victims of Manchester is not to allow our communities to be divided from each other. We are absolutely clear at Stand Up To Racism that for the rest of this election campaign, we will be keeping racism out of the election. That means in our communities, up and down the country, making candidates make a pledge that racism will not be a part of their electoral campaigns. It's absolutely true to say there's been a spike in racism, but the truth is there's also been a spike in anti-racism. That's the best that's the best of our societies, what we have to offer. We have to draw on that to give us strength. We have to not allow any community to feel isolated and, and under attack. And that's coming together like today's, that this is absolutely crucial. So thank you very much uh, for everyone for coming. Thank you. Thank you, Nat, for your speech. Um, we only have two more speakers, ladies and gentlemen. 
Our next speaker is uh, Councillor Sharia Khatun. She had uh, she played a very important role in community cohesion in our hamlets, and she is here with us, Councillor Sharia Khatun. Hello, Salam alaikum. My brothers and sisters, I say brothers and sisters because we are all connected in one way or another. We are human beings. We have so much in common, then we have differences. I have grown up here in Tower Hamlets, in Brick Lane as a matter of fact. And I remember as a young child how much my parents fought against racism here in Tower Hamlets. Tower Hamlets is a very different borough to what it used to be. As a mother of four children, when I saw the news the other night, I cried so much. I cried for the victims. I cried for the young eight-year-old girl. Imagine what their parents are going through. As a Muslim, I was taught, and this is what my scriptures have taught me, is to love my neighbors, to share my happiness with my neighbors. During the month, holy month of Ramadan, when I cook on a daily basis, I share my iftar with my diverse neighbors in my block. This is what Islam has taught me. And I know, you know there are many people here from different backgrounds, different religions, some of no religion. But there is one thing, as I said, we have in common, humanity. Let us unite. Let us send a message to those people in Manchester that Tower Hamlets stands in solidarity with you. Brothers and sisters in Manchester, we are with you in this time and we will be with you. Thank you so much. Assalamu Thank you very much. And um, now we have, sorry, my sunglasses are doing, yes, yes, I know what it's doing. Alistair Paulson, sorry, from the, from, the, from the Green Party. Sorry, I have my glasses. Thank you everyone for coming along today. Can I say a particular heartfelt thank you on behalf of my niece who was in the stadium in Manchester when the bomb went off and she's well but very shaken as one can imagine and going through a difficult time and I know that seeing communities coming together, seeing something good coming out of the horror that she experienced is going to be something that's going to help her heal over the years as she comes to terms with this. I just want to read out something that was written about Manchester because when I read it, I thought, well, this could have been written about Tower Hamlets as well. Togetherness, community, and spirit course through the veins and flood the streets of this city. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Alistair. Before I give out the mic, can I just also wish people uh, the best wishes for the holy month of Ramadan ahead. And introduce, last but by no means least, from our Somali community, Abu Bakr, who is the chair of our Huda Mosque and Cultural Centre. Thanks, Abu. Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, everyone. We're all here as a one community, and we're all condemning the atrocity and the indiscriminate killing of the innocent people in Manchester, including the children and the men and women. We're all standing and behind, you know, the community who is against the criminality. Criminal criminals are not going to defile the, this community. And this attack is going to unite all of us, such heinous act. Um, we all give in our condolences, people who lost their lives, those who are injured, and those who are affected this attack. We want you to work together to stop this kind of atrocity and killing for the innocent people. Assalamu alaikum, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Brother Abu Bakr. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming. And we'd like to come, as Ramadan is here, we'd like to conclude with a prayer. And uh, Agma, maybe you can read the prayer that Imam gave us a short, short prayer, but okay? Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in this dua, the prayers for Ramadan, the victims of the atrocities. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. 
اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد وبارك على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم انت السلام ومنك السلام تبارك ربنا وتعالى يا ذا الجلال والاكرام يا ارحم الراحمين لورد اوف ذا يونيفرس وي اسك يو تو بلس اول يا الله وي اسك يو تو بلس ذس غاذرينج يا الله وي اسك يو تو بلس اول هو امباركينج اون ذا مانث اوف رمضان فيري سون يا الله most important we ask you to bless the people of manchester we ask you to bless those who have suffered we ask you to give them patience to endure and we ask you to unite our hearts ya allah most kind most merciful we ask you to keep us safe and united ya allah we ask you to remove hatred from our hearts ya allah we ask you to increase peace and love for one another ya allah rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim wa tub alayna ya maulana innaka antat tawwabur rahim wa fadl subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين